All righty, all right, all right. Slavery never ended. It was perfected, and that's why I'm heading to work. So I want to talk about the spot price of silver and the disconnect of what silver is actually going for. This is actually good news for much of you folks who are finished stacking silver. Um, for us who are still trying to acquire it, might be a little bit bad news, but for you folks who are holding and no longer stacking, this is gonna be some great news for you. Anyway, first, before I begin, a couple of things. If you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate it if you do so. I really appreciate it if you leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and also, finally, click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. It'll let you know every time I put out a video. It will also alert you when I go and do a live chat, live stream. Um, local news, I'm here in Tucson, Arizona. Um, Governor Doug Ducey put out, uh, I just heard it this morning, really quickly, and I didn't have time to absorb it and verify that I heard it correctly, but I, I think I did. Governor Doug Ducey is putting in a, a full stand down, a full lockdown here in Tucson. And he, and according to the news, the anchor person, the news person, uh, it says you can only travel for essential business and that they're thinking of implementing a travel pass. Hmm, I'll keep you followed up on that. Meanwhile, I know no one that has the sun virus. We'll call it the sun virus because YouTube has algorithms now that detect the that that beer word, if you know what I mean. They have algorithms and they're putting uh, they're putting bans on those videos. So um I'll let you know if any news comes up on this travel pass. I can just imagine now being pulled over and some cop walks up to your window. They're just doing their job. But I can just picture it now, society moving in that direction. Let me see your papers. But anyway, let's talk about silver. Speaking of cops, somebody just got pulled over there on the opposite side of the road. Um, speaking of silver. Spot price, last time I checked, was $14.07. However, it's irrelevant because the true price is what the market sets. And there's nothing on paper to document what the market will be. Case in point. This travel mug right here, filled with mother's milk. Some coffee. Mmm. This travel mug, I can tell you it's worth $500. But up until somebody purchases it, it ain't worth $500. Up until somebody buys it. Once somebody buys it, it's worth $500. And it's the same thing with our silver. The silver right now is hovering right around 14, 1407 the last time I looked. However, that is not what it's going for. And a lot of people are complaining that, well, it's a, it's a six, seven dollars, uh, you know, premium. Irrelevant. It's irrelevant what the ratio of spot price to premium is now. Totally is irrelevant. What is relevant is the price that it actually is selling for. And right now, if you go to places like Atmex, Gainesville Coins, JM Bullion, they're all out of stock, by the way. But if you look in your cart, if you, if you look at the price of a one ounce Silver Eagle, it is going for $23 an ounce. And it is selling for 23. They can't keep them in stock, folks. They cannot keep the silver in stock. $23 per one ounce of silver. So you folks who are sitting on a large stash of silver, that price just multiplied. That value of your holdings just multiplied. Quite contrary, contrary, <laughs> quite the opposite of all the naysayers. Oh, it'll never, it'll never. And it, you haven't seen nothing yet, folks. You have not seen nothing yet. I foresee silver going up 
much higher. I really do. Generic rounds. I already mentioned Silver Eagles, 23 bucks an ounce. Out of stock. They're selling. They're selling. People are getting their orders. They just can't keep them in stock. Generic rounds. Go to Atmex. Go to JM Bullion. Don't just trust me. 21 bucks an ounce for some of those generic rounds. Remember, the spot price is hovering right around 14 and change. The market will set the price. That 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 spot price is is irrelevant. And you know, for me, I've been stacking since 2008, like many of you. I have never seen me. I'm not talking about you. But personally, me, I've never seen a price dump like this before. I've never seen a price dump down to 14, 14.07 before. Never seen this. I've never lived in a situation where there was a pandemic that is affecting the overall financial well-being of our economy. I've never lived through this. This is a first for both of us, isn't it? So next time this happens, we now have a little education. We now have something even more valuable and it's called foresight. We can foresee this coming. The next time we hear of the next pandemic. Why am I mentioning a little foresight? We never knew that the silver price was gonna take a dump like this. And the next national emergency will now know what's going to occur. Why am I saying this? I always advocated buying silver and gold. Getting rid of that paper cash. That worthless piece of paper. And buying silver. Pure silver and gold. Always advocated for it. But a lot of people would always email me, well, I'm not going to buy anything until the price gets down to 13 and 12 Then what I'm going to do is take out a loan, or I'll take out my credit card, or I'll take out a second on the house, and then I'll back up the truck and just load the truck up. Huh. And I always respond to those emails. When the price takes a dump like that, you'll never get a hold of any. You'll never get, get a hold of any. Because the people in the know will have already purchased it up. And by the time us, we, you and I get there, out of stock, just like it is now. Now, don't get me wrong. A few people have gotten lucky and were able to acquire a few ounces here and there. But that, that was just the few and the lucky and... They just got crumbs. They were never able to back up the truck, so to speak, and load the boat or, you know, shovel it in as they bragged about. I always said this in all my email, emails, back to these folks. If the price drops like you are waiting for, you'll never get a hold of it. You need to purchase your gold and silver on its dips. You need to ride the dip downwards, meaning as the price of gold and silver are falling, you need to make incremental purchases. If your budget is $500, what I tell people to do is you make approximately five purchases on the way down. See, the problem is you'll never know where down stops. You'll never know where the bottom is. So in order to take advantage of a declining price, you need to you need to ride the purchase downwards. You need to, as it drops, buy buy $100 worth. Your budget is $500, buy $100 worth or $75 worth. Drops a little bit more, dump another $100 in or $75, whatever you want. And just keep doing it. And once the price bounces back slightly, you don't purchase. And you wait for its next dip, boom, until your $500 budget is consumed. That's how you take advantage of the dips, folks. A little coffee here. price of silver is $23 an ounce now, regardless of what the spot price is. It's what it's selling for. I, I know my, my personal stash of gold and silver. I made some money. I made some freaking damn good money. One last thing I want to talk about, and that was 
this education that we just got. We've never lived through this kind of crisis before. We now have, you know, some foresight. We have a little knowledge of how the next one is going to occur, if one does occur. What surprises me, though, is normally the price of silver. By the way, the sun is directly east. I apologize for the harsh lighting. What surprises me is that normally gold will go up. Not, has, when gold goes up. has nothing to do about a crisis right now. When gold goes up, it normally takes a, a few days, a week, and then the price of silver starts to trail gold, follows gold. For some reason, quite the opposite. Gold went downwards and stayed downwards. Um, I apologize. Silver went downwards and stayed downwards. It stayed at the $14 and change rate. Silver, I mean gold on the other hand, took a dump to what was it? Mid-15s, high-15s, and it turned right back around and started climbing. It tells me you got a lot of people out there getting out of the cash market and going into gold. You cannot buy, let me rephrase that. When you go online, virtually all silver products and almost all gold products are sold out. It's amazing. It is, it is utterly amazing. What happens when a commodity, when, when anything is sold out and there's a high demand for it, that also drives the price up. Be ready for that, folks. Anyway, keep stacking your silver and your gold. This little tube now is worth a little bit of money, if you know what I mean. I'll be hiding it in this car while I'm parked at work. Keep, keep stacking. Um, keep saving for your gold. Get rid of that cheap cash, that toilet paper that they give us every time we go to the bank, and uh, I know I'm going on and on and on, but uh, I don't know what else to say, folks. Gold and silver, we're going to see some moves now. We're going to start to see some some life to that stagnant still silver. It's been stuck God knows how long in the teens. It's now in the 20s. Take care. Market price, that's what it's all about.